get into it, starting our, or finishing up our week, starting the weekend early, maybe for some of us. Let us begin on our backs, taking a moment to reach out long through those limbs, giving yourself an overhead stretch through the fingertips and toe tips, reaching down bottom edge of your mat, drawing those knees in towards the chest, giving yourself an opportunity to see how the lower back's feeling this morning, outer hips. Hi, Billy. And let us begin setting up our bridges. Feet are nice and grounded into the floor, hips distance apart, parallel to one another. And as you ground down, let's begin with a slow lift and a hover a few centimeters up off the mat. As you lift those hips, squeeze through the backside of the body, glutes, hamstrings, all pitching in. Yes, fantastic. We'll also think about lengthening through the tailbone as we lift and lower, so almost like you're trying to connect your ribs and your, your hips. And there's a sharp exhale at the top of your lift to incorporate some belly engagement. Yeah, it looks great, you guys. So that slower pace to begin, really feeling that alignment, seeing how your body feels as you start to activate these backside muscles. We'll finish up this slower pace in five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna stay lifted in your hips. Adjust your feet as you need to because you're just lifting and lowering the heels. So maybe walking the feet in a little closer towards your torso. Keeping those glutes switched on the whole time. It's just the heels that go up and down. Tailbone now is aiming in between your knees. And that breath again is helping recruit the belly muscles. Yeah, it looks fantastic. That's it, bro. Lift and lower. Making sure those glutes are firing, maybe a little tap. Make sure they are nice and engaged. Yeah, that's it, Sarah. Looks great. Lift and lower. Squeeze. We'll finish up this slower pace, heel lifts and lowers in five, four, Three, two, one. Stay lifted on your tippy toes. Again, adjust if you need to, to get as high as you can through the hips. And then it's just a faster pulse and a very narrow band of movement here through the hips. So think pulse, pulse, pulse while you're squeezing the whole time. So you are not releasing those muscles whatsoever. They are switched on and should feel like they are burning. Yeah, that's it, Sally. Keep going, squeeze, squeeze. Tailbone lengthens here, trying not to drop as you may feel a little heat building here. Yeah, that's it, Zab. Keep going a little higher on your tippy toes for some of you. Fantastic work. That's it, Richard. We'll finish out these pulses in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lower it down. That's the release. Give yourself a little rock from side to side, drawing those knees in towards the chest. And we'll set up for our wide-legged bridges, bringing the feet out beyond the hips, toes turn out as well. And we begin slowly. As you ground out through the feet, lift those hips high and lower slowly to a hover. So you're not dropping those hips. It's what we call working the negative. There is still some engagement even as you lower just a few centimeters above the mat, yeah. Squeeze and hover. How's your tailbone lengthening here? How's that breath? Maybe a little softness to the face so you are not wearing it on your face. Squeeze and lower, keep going. Looks good, looks good, oh yeah. And we'll finish up our slower pace Wide-legged bridges in five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted. Again, it's just the heels that go up and down. Lifting and lowering those heels while you stay as high through the hips as you can. So 
softening through your breath. Yeah, that's it. Softening through your face. You got it, Hamish. Heels lift and lower. Squeeze. You may feel a little more through the outer hips, those glute knees working. Maybe a little through the inner thighs, working those adductors. And not slamming the heels down, but working with control. Calves certainly feel a little heat as well. We'll finish our heel lifts and lowers in five, four, three, two, one. Stay high on your tippy toes, adjust as you need to, and pulse it out here. This is the last thing we have to do in our wide-legged bridges. So again, very narrow band. It's almost like you can't even see your hips lifting and lower. That's how micro the movement is. Gives you that opportunity to switch on everything on the backside. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Maybe a little higher on the tippy toes to really arc up through the hips. That's it, Sally. You got it. Ooh, yeah. Long through the tail. Recruiting your belly muscles, supporting your lower back here. Oh, fire, fire. And let's finish up our pulsing in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. Oh, that one really caught up with me. Hug it in. <laughs> Rocking from side to side. We'll bring the soles of the feet together. Knees are going to wing out wide for our butterfly bridges. Last set of bridges. Here we go. Slow to begin as we ground down through the outside edges of the feet. Arc up through the back body. And that slow lower to a hover. Yeah, that's a really nice work. Lift and hover. Squeeze and lower. Sure, we're not tuning out here, but really working the negative as we slowly lower and lifting as high as we possibly can in this shape of the legs. Last slow pace for five, four, three, two, one. Stay as high as you can, and then from there, pulse it up. So you originate the lift and stay lifted and just tiny little pulses here. Yeah, that's it. Keep going, keep going. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh yeah. Feel this. This is our last part of our bridges that we have to do. Long through the tail, sharp through the exhale. Looks great, you guys. So fantastic in the zoom. Oh yeah, let's finish these up. I'm kind of over them. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower it down. That's good solid eight minutes of hip lifts, guys. Fantastic work. We'll take it over to our planks. Right side down. Left foot is going to stack in front of that right foot. Find those heels, hips, and shoulders all in one line, and we begin. Send that left arm high as you root down through that right side forearm. Press away so that right ear is not collapsing into that right shoulder. Yeah, it looks fantastic. So think of your left side waist reaching as high as you can towards the ceiling. That's a Hamish really nice arcing up. We'll do the scoop under for our 30 second mark. So keeping those hips lifted, here we go for 30 seconds, just adding that rotation through the upper back. Not allowing those hips to rotate with us. So really strengthening those obliques, those sideways that help support the spine. So good. It's so strong, Seth. And that is our 30 second mark, so well done. We'll come onto our bellies and offer up some penguins this morning for our work along the spine. 
So heels come together, knees are out wide. Let's lift the chest, let's lift the thighs and take yourself a little waddle here in your penguin as you try and tap down the length of your leg. Keeping the lift through the thighs, keeping the lift through the chest, activating those muscles along the spine, those extensors, yeah, so good. Also getting a little oblique work as you take it from side to side. Nice work, you got it. That's it, Billy. And that's 30 seconds. Preparing 90 second plank hold on our forearms. Let us begin. Just doing that little mental checklist. How are your heels? Are they pressing away, activating that length through the calves? Quads certainly are firming up. And that firming up continues through to your frontal hip points, trying to cinch towards your floating ribs. So those hips are not too high in space. Rounding down through your forearms so you feel a little protraction through the shoulder blades, not collapsing into the shoulders. And just checking your breath without clenching your teeth. A little softening through the jaw. And voila, we're already halfway through. Coming down to your knees if you need to. That's it, Richard. Look so strong. Fantastic, bro. Just checking in that everything is supporting this lift. Finding that breath wash over you, supporting this strength through their center. Awesome work. Fantastic, Sarah. So strong. Ooh, we are almost finished, I promise. Three, two, one. Well done. Coming onto our bellies. Let's take our penguins. 30 seconds. Maybe a little more lift through the chest to stretch out our planks. Maybe a little more lift of the thighs up off the mat, feeling those glutes switch on. Side to side, we got it. Yeah, that's it, nice bro, keep going, keep going. And change, let's switch on over to our left side forearm, right leg down in front of the left. Ground down into that left side forearm and here we go, 30 seconds, we're on. So can you press down through the feet and really find that lift through the hips? Use your left side forearm also to ground and the right arm reaching high. Yeah, just take that little peek. Heels, hips and shoulders are all in the line. And let us begin our 30 seconds of scooping under. Being honest with your alignment here, if you're not taking that right hip for the ride, but it's just isolated to the thoracic region of the spine. Yeah, it looks great. That's it, Sarah, so strong. And even as you add this upper body movement, using your leg strength to Feel those hips lift even more. Last three seconds and change. Well done. Let's move on to our abs for our set of four this morning. Our first one is gonna be a knee tuck in and extend out. So hands are gonna support along the hips. It's a knee tuck in and extend out. If you need to have your hands underneath your hips even more, so you've nothing through the lower back. If you want a little more time under tension, you can draw your chin towards your chest and have that be your front body work. Our second one that we are doing um, is a straddle crunch. So legs are out in the shape of a V and you just pulse it on up here, keeping those legs lifted and getting as much of your back body off the mat. We'll come back to supporting the hips with our flutter kicks. 
Just hovering the heels again, time under tension. If you bring your chin towards your chest and scissor the legs, crossing them, getting that inner thigh work. And then finishing up with wipers. Arms are out to support, knees are stacked over the hips, shins are parallel to the ceiling. And you just wash your knees like wipers from side to side. If you wanted an added challenge, you could squeeze a weight or a water bottle or whatever you want in between your thighs. If you wanted even more, but just be careful of how it feels through the lower back, you could straighten the legs. Whoa! I think I'm gonna keep mine bent. Just be careful of the lower back on those ones. Definitely want to stay safe. So we'll begin with our tuck and then extend out, hand support. And here we go, 20 seconds. Taking it at your pace. Chin to chest for a little more time under tension. Yeah, it looks fantastic. That's in Hamish, nice. You got it, Sarah. So exhale as you drive those knees in. Inhale as you extend them long. Change, fantastic. We'll take it to our straddle V crunch. So V shape with the legs and hands are reaching in between the thighs. And here we go, lift as you pulse. So again, that strong exhale as you lift your chest towards your thighs. If it's too much through the neck, you can support with your fingertips. Fantastic work. We'll come into our flutter kick. So again, hands alongside the hips. Heels are just hovering. And you flutter the legs, one on top of the other, maybe a little emphasis of pointing through the toes. We'll switch on the inner leg lines as well. And chin to chest, allowing for that time under tension. Again, focusing on belly strength, no lower back strain. Change. Setting up for wipers, washing those knees from side to side, adding the weight if you want. And go. So connecting to your lower belly strength here, getting a little oblique work as you take the twist. You don't have to drop the knees down too far to feel this. If you are not feeling challenged enough, you can straighten the legs. Change. First round done. Let's take it back to the tuck. Knee tuck in, extend out. Three, two, one, here we go. The idea is to work with control and with your breath. So you're not just working with momentum. And you're not just flinging your limbs. Yeah. Change. We'll take our V shape through the legs. Three, two, one. Here we go. Close it on up. So the fingertips reaching through the legs may offer that energy to lift more of the back body off the mat. Yeah, that's it, Philly. Nice. Use your strong belly to lift the backside. Change, good work. Third one in this set is our flutter kicks. Supporting those hips with the hands. And here we go. So not too high up off the mat. If you point through the toes, you may find a little more energy through the legs. Chin to chest, if that works for you, or you can lay the head back. Just see how that impacts your lower back. Change, and we'll finish out this second set with wipers. Stacking those knees over the hips. And here we go, taking it from side to side. So again, we are not following our upper body with our legs, but trying to isolate those lower belly muscles through this twisting action. Yeah, it looks fantastic, bro, you got it. Change. Two down, two to go. We begin with our reverse crunch, extend out. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, working at a pace that makes sense for you. 
Really tapping into what needs to engage to find this movement through the legs. The legs don't shoot too high. Yeah. Change. Good work. V crunch setup. Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, that strong exhale lifting you up. A little energy through the legs, through those inner leg lines as well. Yeah, that's it, Sally. Nice. Change. Flutter kicks. Breathe into your belly. Prepare. Three, two, one. Here's 20 seconds. Let's go. So you can take the crossing as fast or as slow as you like, just staying precise. Keep going. Yep, that's it, Sarah. Nice. Keep going. That's awesome. Woo Change. Finishing out with wipers. Breathe into your belly. Shins parallel with the ceiling and that 90 degree angle through the legs. Here we go. Take it from side to side. So those obliques are helping with the lift. That exhale of the belly drawing to the spine helps with the lift. Yes, Ab. Change. One more round, guys. We got this reverse crunch. Extend out. Three, two, one. Here we go. Maybe faster pace, maybe slower pace. Let your breath help you determine what works for you. Nothing through the lower back, all front body. Change. Taking that straddle shape through the legs. Three, two, one, and here we go, lifting. Again, if you're feeling anything through the neck, you can support with the fingertips behind the head, or maybe even one-handed. Keep going, so good. Nice, Billy. Change. Flutter kicks. How's that breath? And 20 seconds here. Nice range, everyone. Keeping it nice and low, switching on, seeing those belly muscles activate. Ooh, keep going, keep going. Change. Wipers for our last set of abs. Prepare. And let's go, 20 seconds. Focusing on your breath, focusing on tapping into those obliques. Really nice and smooth, that's it, Sally. Keep going. Change, well done, we are finished with our ab work. I'll go through our set of four exercises. So our first squat is a squat lat pull. And then your butt, your knee, oh, sorry, your heels going towards your butt. So you sit down low, reach the arms overhead. And as you come up, you activate your hamstrings as you reach your heel towards your glutes. So we're getting a little upper body work here as well as our leg work. That's our first one. So for our press ups, we are coming to a plank. We are doing a one-handed swim, like you're doing breath stroke, and then take the press up, and then sweep that other arm, and then take the press up. So it's like a one-handed swim. Take it or leave it. You can come to your knees. You can do straight up press ups, but that's our upper body work. For our balance work, the left leg's gonna stay stable. We take a side lunge with that right leg, and then right knee to left elbow. So side lunge, and then knee drive. And that's our balance work. 
and then mountain climbers to get our heart rate spiking. So get low in your squat. And then you're, as you come to stand, here we go, we're 20 seconds, it's already started, sorry. We're driving that heel to the glute and driving those hands down, elbows coming basically alongside the body to get that chest lift. Looks so good. That's it, Richard, nice. Keep going. Whew. Change. All right, taking your plank for a swim, a one-arm swim if you want to, otherwise straight up press-ups. Interpret how you like. If you're joining me in the swim, really strong through your center so you're not wobbling too much in your plank. Yeah, that's it, bro. Strong through your center to keep as much wave-like action through. That's it, change through the hips. Again, it's the right side that takes a wide lunge and then knee to elbow. Here we go, 20 seconds. Light stepping, so you land the knee and the toes facing the same way. Getting that left inner thigh working. Ooh, hints to our straddles, right? Looks awesome, Sally. Fantastic. Change. Mountain climbers. Let's get that heart rate as we stack the shoulders over the wrists. We are light through the toes and let's go. 20 seconds. Driving those knees towards the chest. I mean, towards the opposite arms. That's it, Richard. Nice pacing. Yes, Sarah. Fantastic. Woo. Hips aren't too high as you strengthen through the belly. Change, good work. That's our first one done, three more to go. Maybe you meet me in your low squat with your arms overhead and here we go. So it's like you're pulling yourself up on a pull-up bar as you come to stand and find your heel and your glutes reaching in the same direction, yeah. Change, good work. Catch your breath in your, splint, in your plank for that swim, one armed. And 20 seconds, here we go. Can you maintain that true plank shape through the body even as you take that one arm for a swim? That is the challenge. <laughs> so good, nice bro. Change. I feel like I'm drowning on that one when I'm doing the one arm swim. It doesn't look that good. <laughs> All right, taking a wide step with that right leg. And then we find that right knee to elbow tap. So it's almost like we're doing a half lunge with the right side, but using our left inner thighs to help drive us back up. So good. Nice balance, everyone. Change. Mountain climbers. Catch your breath in your plank. Get your pace on when it goes. Here we go, 20 seconds. Fantastic work, you guys, keep going. Light through the toes, strong through the belly. Quick on your feet, yeah. Nice, Sally, keep going. That's it, bro. You got it, Seth. Woo! Change. All right, halfway through the first set. Left, pull down. Heel to glute. And here we go. So it's like you're trying to pull your chest through the framework of your shoulders. Yeah, really nice, you guys. Fantastic. Squeezing as you lift. Change. One arm swim, press up, combo. Here we go. Strong through your center. Nice. Change. 
Man, those are hard. All right, we're stepping wide with the right leg. Finding that balance as you transition. Right knee to left elbow. So you determine the width of your lunge. Helps target the depth in that side squat. And of course the level change to come up on that left leg. Yeah. Change, good work. Mountain climbers, third set. Three, two, one, here we go. Can you be honest with how your starting point for your mountain climbers is? Are those hips a little too high? Do they need to come down a little? Looks so good. That's it, Sarah, nice pace. All right, last one of these guys. Fantastic. Maybe you can wait for this count. Arms reach up overhead. And here we go, squeezing. As you lift, nice depth through the hips as you find that squat. Fantastic. That's it, Sally. So good. Using that exhale to come up, drawing those elbows alongside the body for that lat pull change. Good work. Thanks, swims. Three, two, one. Here we go. Work at your pace so you're not compromising anything in this last set. If you need to come to your knees, come to your knees. Just stay aware of how you're feeling through your body. Change. Stepping wide with the right leg. Three, two, one, here we go. Elbow to knee. How's that transition for you? Using your breath, avoiding any torque on the knees, the toes, same line as the kneecap. Yeah, that's it, nice bro. Change, last set of mountain climbers. Catch your breath in your plank. Three, two, one, here we go. Drive those knees, maybe a little quicker. Last chance you get to do these for your Friday. Yeah, that's it, Richard. Nice. Keep going, keep going. Woo! Three, two, one. Change. Okay, I'll go through our next set of four. Okay, we are in a low squat. And we are just tapping as we find. Our hands go down as well. So it's a little squat, toe tap. Ooh, so you're staying low the whole time. You're welcome. <laughs> Our upper body is down dog, ankle tap. So here you are, hips lifted <clears throat> in your down dog. Tap opposite ankle. Shift forward to your plank. Add the press up. You can take away any parts of this. Add any parts. That's our upper body work. We'll catch that left foot lunging, right knee or right elbow to knee, and then wide-legged burpees. So get low, we're taking our toe taps and our squats. Breathe, and here we go. So even though you're super low in your squat, there is a little lift in your chest, but that happens because your belly's engaged. You are not wearing this in your lower back. So the tailbone is even lengthening here. Yeah, awesome, Sarah. So good, Sam. Change. Down dog ankle taps. Here we go, crossing opposite ankle on for 20. As you transition from downward facing dog to plank to low plank, be aware of your breath. Change. Good work. We're stepping wide with the left leg and coming up right elbow to knee. And let's begin. 20 seconds here. 
So feeling that left outer hip through the depth of the squat, feeling that right hip and inner leg line, the transition to stand. Awesome. Looks fantastic, Richard. Change. Down dog ankle. Oh, no, sorry. Wide legged burpees. How did I forget those? Three, two, one. Let's get that heart rate going. Jump back, jump wide, squeeze to stand. As many as you can fit in. Finding your breath. Yes, Jessie, your shoes. Thank you. Looks like you had a good breakfast. You got lots of energy. Keep going, keep going. Woo. Change. Awesome. And the dog too. Love it. Squat toe tap. So waiting in your squat. And let's take it. So here's an opportunity to even work the inner leg lines. Yeah, as you reach those toes away from your squat position. Yes, bro. Keep going, keep going. So good. That's it, Hamish. Nice. With the weights. Yeah. Change. Down dog ankle taps. Catch your breath, maybe your downward facing dog. Here we go. Make that transition smooth. Staying connected to your bellies. Especially as you remove a hand and tap, tap opposite ankle. Change, good work. Our lunge work with the left leg. Three, two, one, here we go. So being honest with the depth in that lunge. Almost like you're floating, right? Think about that connection to your core so much that it helps you transition slowly, lightly. <laughs> yeah, good. Change. Wide-legged burpees. Number two. Three, two, one, and let's go. It's like you just appear from nowhere, Jesse. Descend. And <laughs> magical. I love it. Keep going. Woo! She's showing us how it's done. She's so bouncy. <laughs> That's awesome. Change. She deserves a little clap on the back for that one. All right, squat toe taps. Two more to go, guys. Two more rounds, that is. Here we go. 20 seconds. Can you get a little lower? Can you remind yourself that your belly switched on? Yes, it was so good. Richard, that's making it aerobic. I love it. That's ambitious. Wow. <laughs> Change. Down dog ankle taps. Catch your breath in your down dog. The heart's above the head. It's giving your brain a signal. It's all good. Here we go. Nice press ups. Staying connected to your center as you transition. In and out breath, maybe through the nose. Woo. Change. Left leg stepping wide. Three, two, one. Here we go. Side lunge. Finding that nice, even transition. Awesome, bro. So good, Hamish, you got it. Great depth in those lunges. Nice lift as elbow connects to knee. Yes, Sav, awesome. Change. Wide-legged burpees, round three. Three, two, one, let's go, girl. Yeah, maybe another round in, inspiring us. Yeah, we got it. Let's catch up to Jesse, everyone. Keep going, keep going. That's it, Richard. Woo. Good work, everyone. Nice light landing. So good. Change. Fantastic. All right, one more set. Squat toe taps to the top. Three, two, one, and here we go. 
as this is the last round, maybe taking it a little slower, feeling it a little more deeply as you work precisely. Yeah. So good. That's it, bro. Yes, Richard. Awesome. <laughs> Change. Down dog ankle taps. Three, two, one. Here we go. Maybe you're doing straight up press ups. Maybe you're coming to your knees. It's just a little bit of time. And so many benefits after. Change. Take that wide step of the left leg. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Here we go. Make this your best one yet. Fantastic, Sally. Looks so strong. I love it. Everyone's stamina is getting really amazing. That's it, bro. Good stepping. That's it. Nice stab. Change. All right, here we go. We know we're almost finished. Bring it on home for us, Jesse. Three, two, one, let's go. Get that pace up, guys. It's start of Friday. Yes, so good, honey. She's popping into handstand soon. She's got her sneakers on. They make her super fast. Yes, Sab, you got it. Nice. Go, bro. Yeah, go, Sally. That's it, Richard. Come on, Hamish. You. That one deserved a little you. <laughs> so good.